Hello and welcome to Craft the World where we are harvesting carrots and um, what do we need to do on the tech tree? Oh yeah, weaving. Wardrobes. Oh, we need more mirrors. How many do we need to make? We are going to need to make quite a few, aren't we? Nails. Oh, we can make a lot of these. Um. Yeah, we do need to make quite a few wardrobes. Like, quite a few. <laughs> we'll start with, um, something like that and then we'll see. Orcs are once again trying to break our rainwater collecting, um, what are those called? Well, our rainwater collecting system. Let's just put it like that. There we go, that's dealt with. There's another one incoming. We'll deal with it too. Oh, and uh, there's one already there. Huh, it had a coin. Nice. We like coins. We also like wood. Which is, um, pretty... Not so very plentiful in this world. Luckily, we've got the magic forest spell. Mm. I only have 20 mana, but um, they seem to be doing just fine without a portal there. Oh. Our archery towers are also attacking the, uh, the flying squid that pass by. Or flying octopi. So some potatoes next. We'll be able to make some baked potatoes then. Have more variety in our dwarves diet. They will soon be getting carrot cake though. Oh, there's a a lot of these plants here. Hmm. I guess our dwarves are quite busy hauling all kinds of stuff because, um, <laughs> there's a lot that they haven't picked up. It's 
a little bit of combat skill practice and also um, potential sushi ingredients. Um, so with like a mind to prepare for dealing with the um, next tribe of goblins. I think they were blue goblins or something. The ones we already dealt with had like a red flag. So they were the red goblins. I think the next ones are blue. So, um, with, um, a mind to kind of prepare for that. I would love to get our archers some silver armor. So let's collect some silver from here. I do need to keep an eye on my mana though. I don't exactly... Where are you guys going? Oh, you're just like climbing into the dragon's den. Okay. Self-preservation. Not so strong with um these dwarves here. Let's make us a way through there. That'll be quite a bit safer. Oh, I guess we have a fight on our hands. Uh, if I could just click the dragon, there we go. Burners here, lovely. It's once again gone up there. Oh well, um, maybe we'll just let it be as long as it stays up there and doesn't come down here to hurt us. Yeah, I guess we'll just let it be. Let's see if I can keep that portal open long enough for them to grab all of this silver. Would be nice. We do need quite a few silver ingots per silver armor. I do have eight mana, well, four now. So I can, um, um, I can replenish the time on that portal once more. So yeah, we'll see. Hopefully we'll be able to get all of this silver. Oh, dude. Uh, hmm. There you go. Please um, dig yourself a way out. I think I am going to have to give it more time, aren't I? There's something down there.
hopefully whatever is attacking our base at the moment is being dealt with without my supervision it's a storage room These guys are just fine. I think we are going to be able to get all of that silver. Lovely. Let's just make them a bit of a better stair there. And we'll see how many silver ingots we can make out of the silver that we managed to grab from here. I guess we could just go on digging. But, um, I don't have a whole lot of mana to keep the portal open and... Let's just, um, be happy with that for now. These guys have not been dealt with, but there we go. And a level up. Ooh, we've got the Monkey King available. That's nice. And you need equipment. I guess we're going to make you a warrior. Hmm, let's see, we have... Uh, I think we have 12 ordinary dwarves and 3 heroes. So 12 dwarves and um, then there are three different battle skills. So if we wanted to have the same number of each kind, then we'd have four of each. But I think it makes sense to have more um, warriors. So, um, if we have like 12 ordinary dwarves, maybe we'll have like 6 warriors and 3 mages and um, 3 archers. That makes sense, doesn't it? Um, it does to me. Makes sense to have, um more melee fighters and then um a little less of the mages and warriors that way um half of our dwarves are going to be melee fighters and the other half are going to be ranged divided between um, mages and and archers we only have two sushi rolls left wow um i guess we could make more it's a pretty good food. It's not as good as the apples, but... They don't want to eat the same food all the time, so it's good to have sushi and apples. And um, the other stuff do like carrot cake and then baked potatoes once we can make some 
but um um as for healing food sushi and apples are it right so we have some coal here and we need more coal so let's get it and we'll make a bit of a stairway over here so it'll be easy for them to do their thing we have more coal here let's see how we want to do this thing I guess we'll just do that and then tell them to replace the bottom coal here and then we'll make some stairs over here too Replace the coal here when I get all of it. And I guess it would be useful to have some bridges. Um, just in case. So, um, so we have some for when we need them, like, um, we, we don't have to start building them or making the bridge tiles, um, once we run into a situation where we need a bridge, we can just, uh, tell them to bring the bridge tiles over and, uh, put them in place I think that'll be handy and since we have the resources why not prepare for that kind of a situation as well speaking of preparing um I was going to make some armor for our new dwarf here. We have boots, but um, the body armor situation, not so good. I don't think this is going to make it for this monster wave, but eventually that dwarf as well will have some body armor let's see here once again we have one portal on each side we'll just wait I guess for them to get close we do want as many of them as possible to get within range of our archery towers before we uh, start fighting them so I am kind of inclined to wait until they get sort of on top of the uh, top plateau here where we have the archery towers before I give the command to attack See how well we can deal with the dragon riders now? No problem. Oh, we should probably replace the wooden hatch with a metal one at some point. These guys are just waiting down here. I guess we're going to have to go to them. That's too bad. I was kind of looking forward to getting them within range of our archery towers one person in need of healing 
there we go. Everybody else says, well, you could use one potion. Yeah, everybody else is kind of okay. Okay, let's gather the water and um, then I guess that'll be that. Sushi is being made. Potatoes are growing. Um, is everything okay here? Seems to be. Oh. <laughs> Burners. Flames aren't quite reaching. There we go. And we now have that metal armor made. There we go, make some more of those towers. And I guess we could repair the damage done over here. Do we have any better material to use other than stone? I guess not. We do have some mithril, but I would rather not use it um, on this sort of thing. I guess stone is going to have to be tough enough for now. We do have some of those brick walls. Oh, hello. So I guess some goblins are now taking the underground route instead of the above ground one. Most are still coming. Um, via the uh, above ground route though. So, I think there were some healing potions being made. Potatoes are not ready for harvest yet. Um... And there are those towers being made. Sushi, bridge pots. Uh, what do we want to cook? I guess we'll put some of some more of these apples on offer here. The apples are pretty awesome. They um seem to be very filling and uh, they also heal um 100% of the dwarf's health. So, do we want to dig into this coal as well? Why not, right? And I guess they can just, um... Oh, I guess we don't really need to do that. We can just tell them to replace there. Okay. Looking good. Replace those two. So yeah, I would love to get our archers some silver armor before we go and say hello to the blue goblins. The healing potion production, I think, 
we we have going so that's being handled hopefully we'll have a real nice stack of healing potions by the time we go and uh, pay a visit to the blue goblins nice more silver ingots that's enough to make one more silver armor and then we'll have a couple of ingots left over i guess we could see if we can find more silver somewhere was there more silver where we um dug for it last time or i guess it was in this episode but like towards the uh, beginning of the episode i guess we could go see about that at some point oh and um, i now have full mana too so that's great as well i'll be able to throw some fireballs to assist in the vanquishing of the blue goblins Wow, quite a bit of damage taken there. Are you going to bed? You are good. Potatoes are still not grown yet. Um, how about those wardrobes? Let's dismantle some. So I guess dismantling them also gives the, uh, the, uh, or like ra raises the bar on that technology. Wow. I didn't know that. I thought only making the things would raise the bar. Mmm, fabric. I guess we don't necessarily need to complete master furnishing. Like, I don't think it unlocks anything super useful. Still need some more silver ingots. Yeah, I'm thinking we may not complete master furnishing at all in this world. Um... These rhino beetle helmets would be quite nice, but they do require rope. And rope is something we can't really afford to use because um, we can't make more. Alright, that situation was handled. 28 coins. So, 52 more. Ooh, potatoes are done. Well, most of them. So, 52 more coins. Until we can get us a new hero. The Monkey King is a nice one. Really good at um, melee fighting. And very fast. But also the Monkey King tends to uh, 
glitch out um, sometimes. So we'll see whether we'll um, get him or not. Hmm. Attacking those rhino beetles there would get us some combat practice. Let's do it. This is close enough to our base that I don't think we need a portal there. Give you a couple of healing potions. Well, maybe just one will do. Let's see. Burner once again not quite reaching down far enough with his flames. Okay, that's done. More apples. Quite a bit of stuff to hold there still. Yeah, the master furnishing um, is not going to be easy for us here. Yeah, silver, gold and planks. Master decorating, luxury decorating, yeah. We don't necessarily need to complete master furnishing. So that's good. I wish we could trade some of the stuff that we don't really need for wool. But I guess not. Well, technically, didn't the, um, the god or whatever Want offerings? Hmm. The shaman promised to aler alert us when, um, or draw our attention when the god, um, rises uh, to the surface. I guess that's the time when we can give the offerings. But um, there hasn't been any activity there for a good long time now. So... Who knows what's going to happen and when. I'm just thinking we have some of those like fire essences or something. You know, stuff that the dragons drop. And we're not really using them for anything. So maybe we could give those as offerings. And then the god could give us something in return. We'll see how it works. Next time the uh, god surfaces. Thunderbolt bow. Hmm. Bows do require rope to make, but this is a special bow. 40, 100%, 6. Let's compare that to this. 20, 85%, 3. Oh yeah, that is way better. Like so much better. I guess we had unlocked a new kind of firearm as well though. We'll have to take a look at that at some point. 
there we go get the bed situation a little better I did notice that we only had 10 beds and 15 dwarves all together so yeah luckily not all of them go to bed at the same time but still they do each like to have their own bed so yeah make some more grains so we can then make some more flour and then we'll eventually be able to make some more carrot cakes there we go get that wheat growing and uh, flour there we are okay potions are being made and uh, potatoes are being baked hmm more carrot cake maybe yeah that should keep the uh, cooks busy for a while oh yeah we have a new pandora's box expert cooking is done we get to advanced alchemy um is there anything we really really want here Ooh, rain spell and magic collect Let's see what's in the Pandora's box. Come on. Please be good. Pack of imps. Nice. They are friendly imps. The kind that go and um, collect stuff for us. So, um, I kind of want to go and close that portal. Um, where was it? Up here? Yep. Closed. Nice. The imps are. Hard at work, collecting stuff from, from over here as well. Nice, we're getting a lot of stuff. Ah, look at them. We did have a lot of stuff that needed collecting, so that was pretty nice. Anyway, we'll save the game here and um, next time we'll see about maybe, perhaps, possibly going to um, say hello to those blue goblins. I think we're pretty okay equipped for that now maybe well for now thank you so much for spending time with me here on the mellow it was lovely to have you please remember to be kind to yourself have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you next time